Welcome, everybody. My name is Jeff St. Laurent, and this is the Tuesday Live Show. And today's topic is called Creation on Demand. And this is something that we all must begin to master if we want to become a successful entrepreneur. And I'm going to talk about what that means once we get going today. Uh, I record all these Tuesday, Tuesday Live Shows, and I put them in my university and my website, sellingcoaching.com. So check that out. I help coaches transition to a full-time business. A lot of great resources there for you, and where you can start off is right on the homepage at sellingcoaching.com. If you enter your name and email address, you're going to get the first three vital steps to launching your full-time coaching business. So that entering your name and email will give you instant access to that. Uh, it's an audio course that you can listen to instantly, and then it's also going to put you in my email community. That's going to allow you to get some great information from me on a weekly basis and also give you a real good idea of, of how I start to communicate with my audience, which is something vital that we do with our business. So when we talk today, I talk about this, something called creation on, the, on demand. You know, um, as an example, when I come to these calls, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> in other words, let me say it like this. I mean, I know what I'm talking about, but I don't have it all scripted out and written out, right? So what I do is I have a topic. I have, you know, some three to five sentences I write around that topic when I create this event. And then I start from there and I allow things to develop as the show goes on. And I've worked hard at this craft I call creation of demand. I learned this from my mentor years ago. And it's the ability to extract, I'll say greatness, but to give you kind of more grit than greatness, it's, it's the ability to extract, let's just say, um, new, fresh, um, authentic information from you in the moment that you could never think of otherwise or plan out or, or sit down and write. And that's the biggest piece about it is it's, it's trusting yourself to be able to deliver and express not what you think, but it's synthesizing your thoughts with your emotion and how you feel and to be able to articulate that and articulate it clearly so that someone else listening or watching can actually understand that in the moment. And when we talk about this creation on demand, this is, I'll compare it to something you most, I think anyone would be familiar with, whether you've experienced it yourself or have watched it with athletes. So whether you're an athlete yourself, currently or in the past, or if, if you watched any sports, even if you're not a sports fan, it doesn't matter. You've seen it before. And, and we refer to this as when an athlete is in the zone. And it's just almost like they're unconscious. And it's basketball, they're just hitting three pointers left and right. You know, they, you just, no one can stop them. You know, or football, you know, it's the quarterback just is hitting everybody, you know, with their throws. It, it doesn't matter what sport it is, it's just, if they get in a zone, and the zone can last seconds, it can last minutes, it can last, you know, you know a quarter. It doesn't matter what it is. But that zone, it, it, they say so, that person is unstoppable, they're unconscious. Right, and, and, and you can't get past where that person is. And it doesn't happen that often or that frequently, but in clutch moments, that person, that athlete, has the ability to trust everything they've done up to that point, the practice, right? And the, uh, the training, the nutrition, the you name it, all the things that they've done synthesize into that moment. So in other words, my message here is, is this zone or for us, this creation on demand doesn't just come. Doesn't mean, you're like, okay, I want to get on and do a live broadcast and think of a topic and I can just expect that you can go X amount of minutes or hours on it, right? It's like, that would be foolish to think you could do that right away. You know, you might be able to BS your way through some things, but can you articulate it clearly and take them someone through a process and, and retain that audience as well? doesn't mean you can or you can't. It just means maybe you can initially. But the whole point is, is with that athlete, it's they've done the work and they're practicing it. So you can't, in other words, you can't think your way into a zone as an athlete. It doesn't happen. It just, you've got to trust yourself enough to want the ball or to want, you know, the play to run through you 
and then trust that I'm going to do what I've known and I'm going to see it in that moment. I'm going to experience it in that moment. I'm going to know what to do in that moment. I'm going to know what to say, what to think, what to feel, where to go, how to navigate. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But especially when it doesn't, it doesn't hold me back from doing it again. Because I also know as a professional athlete or otherwise, that I'm not going to be successful <laughs> more times than I'm failing. In fact, sometimes I fail more than I succeed. And athletics, like you can get to the Hall of Fame in baseball, you know, you know, a 33% batting average, and that's a Hall of Fame batting average. 33%. What other parts of the world, you know, if your child comes home with a 33% on their on their math test, it's not all Hall of Fame work, right? But that's the reality of it, right? So you're not going to close, you know, get, you know, you have 10 complimentary sessions. You're not going to close nine out of 10. Can you? Yes, absolutely. You can. But in the beginning, I wouldn't expect that. Right. So we've got to work our way to that. So when we talk about creation on demand for us, it's how do we get in that zone? Well, we've got to trust the moment that we're in like today. How am I, how am I going to create this information? How am I going to create on demand today? Well, I've got to trust that it's going to come because if I don't trust, I'm going to be, you know, Oh my God, oh my God, oh, and I'm going to freak out, and I'm going to think, oh God, i got to write this out, or i got to do this, and, and I'm going to be doing all that preparation beforehand, and it's, going to, and it's going to cost me a lot of time, it's going to cost me a lot of energy, and then when I get to this moment, I'm not going to be present, I'm not going to be with you, I'm going to be constantly referring to you know, my notes or whatever else, and, and I'm not going to be accessing what I can access what you know the heart right the feelings the emotion i'm not going to be able to access that space i'm not going to be access my brain either right because my blood's not flowing it's a mind body connection right how we think influences how we feel how we feel influences how we think right and, and those two when there's an even flow that's the breathing that's that breath it's the bridge between the mind and the body and if we're not breathing what happens if you don't breathe well you don't do it long enough you die right so what happens now is is you're not breathing you don't have the connection between the two and that happens when we think too much, when we're, when we're processing too much, right? In our head is where fear, doubt, insecurity, overwhelmed feelings lie. And so we can't think our way into that zone. So you get into this space and you're thinking too much. And what happens is there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect between you and your audience. And it doesn't work. And, there, and then we wonder why we don't get clients on the other end or no one watches it, no one subscribes, no one you know, follows through, no one interacts with us. It's because we're, we're doing our own, we're doing everyone a, a disservice because we're not being in that space. And so in order, number one, in order to start creating on demand and being in that space, we've got to trust. And how do we begin to trust? Well, we begin to trust by, let me go back to the athlete example, is, is they trust the practice. They trust the training. They trust the nutrition. They trust the coaches. They trust, you know, everything that's led up to that space. And at some point, everyone starts. And when everyone starts off, like you might be a brand new coach and you're just starting off and you're saying, well, Jeff, how can I just trust when I've got nothing, I've got nothing in the past that, you know, I can rest on to trust on. And it's like, well, you've got something, you know, maybe you've got to pull some other areas and it's too easy to pull from the areas where we're not good or things haven't worked out. It's focusing on the lack or the what's missing versus what has worked out, and even if it's one time, even if it's one situation, right? that's where we start to pull our strength from. And sometimes it's borrowed strength. Maybe we borrow that strength from somebody else who says, you know what, you can do this, you've got this. You know what, just give it a go and see what comes out. That's what I try and do with my mentor, my mentor coaching clients is, is I, I give them some of that strength and I say, you know what, let's, let's, let's not put anything on this. Let's just practice it. You know, that's why I tell people initially, it's like, you know what, no one's watching. You know, we all, well, we got to get all this exposure. We want to market ourselves. But it's like in the beginning, no one, you know, not many, if any, people are watching. And that's actually the good thing in the beginning because if no one's watching you, even though we, we kind of want them to, but we also kind of don't want them to, but that's our practice space. You know, you're not being thrown in front of an audience of 100 people immediately. And, and if you were, great. I would not not take it. It's, it's, we practice and we launch from that space. But part of it is starting to practice that. That's why I'm, I, I, with my mentor coaching clients and things like that, right out of the gates, I'm like, all right, let's start making a video. Let's start doing this. Let's start writing an email. Let's start articulating our message. You know, even if we think we know it or we think we don't know it, that's where we're going to find it. And you start practicing that and start working on your craft. And you start working on your craft. And yeah, I have them 
try and get to that space. And yeah, it's, it's trying because trying is hard. That word is a painful word, try. I don't even like to use that try. But sometimes I'll, even, I'll, I'll say that. It's like sometimes you just got to try and see what happens from it. Because sometimes we do come from that painful place initially because we don't have the confidence and we don't have that belief. We don't have the experience. However, we've got to we got to get up to bat and we got to swing. We got to throw. We got to try and catch. And we might miss and it might hit us in the face and people might laugh at us. That's okay. We do it again and again. I look back at some of my first videos and some of the first things that I was doing, you know, and they're not good, you know, and I might even thought I was good or whatever the case may be is I get to that spot and I realize, well, it's, it's that evolution and we've got to trust the evolution. We've got to, we've got to create the space for us to evolve. The thing about it is though, we can't evolve behind the scenes. We can't evolve with a piece of work that's unpublished, that's sitting on a pad of paper that's sitting on our hard drive on our computer that's sitting up in the back of our mind that's not going to allow us to evolve you know it's putting it out there you know this last week I've had or this last month and um, I've had three of my clients publish three books you know obviously it's been a work in progress over the last five to ten months for all of them that we've been been helping them through but you know we get to that spot is and, I, and the reason I'm so proud of them is for many many reasons but the number one reason is, is, is they've taken their thoughts and they put it on paper. It's in black and white. It's printed. They can't change it. They're like, this is, this is what I think. This is what I feel. This is what I say. And it's out there. And someone actually you know, buys that and reads that. You can't change that. And it takes a lot of courage to be able to do that. And that's what I begin to ask of you is, is put yourself in this space. Create the space for you to you know, hit the button and you go live in three, two, one, and then there's just this empty space and maybe there's people on the other end. Maybe there's no one on the other end. Actually, it doesn't even matter, but you're creating the space for yourself to begin to express yourself. And this is where that creation on demand process begins is you've got to be in that spot and be willing to be uncomfortable to start to see what comes out. And you know what? Sometimes nothing comes out, right? Sometimes nothing comes out and you're just like, oh, and, and you might mess up or you might fail or it might not go as well as you thought you might watch it back or listen to it back or read it back and go eh, I don't I don't really like this okay great so write it again do another show like that's that's where you start if it's if you feel it's that bad delete it <laughs> you know that's the worst case scenario however why should you be the judge of that you know allow others to judge it because you never know with what you say or what you write who that could help when they when they come across that and consume that and and you'll never know and isn't that the point it's not for you if the inf this information that I'm delivering isn't for you I don't know how you're gonna take this and maybe you like it maybe it resonates with you maybe it it shifts something for you fantastic maybe you're like this guy's full of crap and you shut me off that's okay too because not everything we say is going to resonate with everybody, nor should it. If, it. if it did, then you're too watered down anyways. Then you're too general and or vague or trying to play it safe. And that's not going to get you anywhere. That's not going to create any value for anybody. Right? We've got to take a stance. We've got to have an opinion. We've got to go in a direction. We've got to cut some things off and say, here's where I stand. Here's who I am. Like it or not, this is where I'm at. And if you like it, great, stay. If you don't, there's somebody else for you. You know, I, I wish you the best of luck. That's the place where we've got to be. And this is the space where I want you to be able to begin to trust yourself. And you've just got to get to that one spot where you say, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. Or I'm going to try. And you don't have to have all those positive words where I'm going to do this and I'm going to succeed and all those affirmations. And that's great stuff. I'm not knocking any of that stuff. But sometimes we're not in that spot initially. And it's hard to oh, and say that stuff and think that way. So just start off where you're at and start off where you're at and say, you know what, I'm scared and I've never done this before, but I'm going to give it a go <laughs> and see where we go from there. And, and, and oftentimes that's the most real spot you can be from and that's where people can start to resonate with you from. You know, often we look at these other people that are out there who seem polished and have it together and they know what they're saying and they're confident and they're beautiful and they're smart and they're successful and they're rich and they're, you know, have everything together and you fill in all the blanks of these, you know, at, at least the perception of the way people come across. And, and sometimes too much so we compare ourselves to that and say, oh, I'm not that. And you know what? You're right. You're not that. <laughs> you couldn't be that right now. However, that person wasn't that 
rewind X amount of years, decades or whatever, when they started either. And sometimes those people can be unrelatable because I can't relate to that person. It's, it's only when you get to a level of success and polish and or poise and confidence that like, you can share your true self and recognize that even though I may, might present real well, I still have challenges and I still struggle and I still am a real person. I can come across put together, but I can be real and I can weave those into what I write and what I share. And that's where people can connect with you and you can become real. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Oh,